Good morning, afternoon, and evening, guys. We are back with another random tier list. Today, I am, to be honest with you, feeling a little under the weather, so we're going to do a quick video here. We are talking about the video game Legends of Dragoon, which was released in North America in 2000. This is a PlayStation um, game, a, a role-playing game, uh, game originally developed in Japan. And from what I can tell, there's only one tier list on YouTube about it, so we're going to make number two here. And I've never played this game, so this is... This tier list will probably be worse than that one, um, if we're being honest with ourselves. But, given that I haven't played the game, we're going to go through objectively, or as objectively as possible, and talk about these characters, rank them on a scale of S through D. We'll see if we need some other tiers as we go. First of all, we're going to start with this guy here. This guy definitely looks like a main character type. Love the red armor. Love the big old sword. He has that main character anime hair, um, you know, which looks amazing. Um, yeah. Yeah. I can't say much bad about this character. I think it's a really cool design. This character here, he has that, uh, that you know, 20 years ago 3D model vibe going on. I think that definitely hurts his design. The fact that the rest of these characters are all shown to me right now in 2D just definitely makes them look better. So I think the picture used for this guy hurts him. Um, but there's also not really much to write home about there. He's not wearing as much armor as some of the other guys. Um... He looks muscular, but not, you know, not hugely built, uh, built or anything like that. And I, I can't really tell what his weapon is either. Uh, so we're going to put him in C tier. This guy is going to go in B tier. Um, I think the green, along with his long hair and his smirk, he looks like an arist... Well, maybe not an aristocrat, but he looks like some type of royal or, or privileged person compared to... Um, some of the other people on this list, he looks like he knows what he's about and whatnot, so B tier on that. This guy looks like um, like a, a bargain bin um, uh, Mr. Miyagi, uh, or Mr. Han, or Mr. Uh, master Roshi. Uh, I'm not sure here. It looks like this is maybe the master of the game. Maybe not. Maybe completely not, but he does look older. I guess he's not graying, so maybe I'm maybe I'm projecting on that one. Um, he does still have black hair, not gray hair, so he may not be as older as I initially thought there. He has punching gloves on, so he's more of a boxing character. Um, some weird clothing on the back there. Not sure if that's part of his cloth or if that's some armor on the back. Um, but, yeah, I can't really tell what's going on here. C tier on that guy. This guy's going to go in B tier. Big old armor. Um, got some fur coming out of it as well. He's absolutely ripped. Definitely looks like he could do some damage. Um, doesn't look very fast, but definitely looks like he is um, going to be able to do a lot of, of pain and a lot of hurt to you if he's actually able to hit you. Absolutely love this guy's white armor. Going to be putting this guy in A tier here. This Legend of Dragoon character, the white armor. I wish I could see what kind of a type of weapon he uses. I'm assuming a sword, but that's just an assumption. So I'm not really sure about that. He's going to go ahead and go there in A tier. Next we have what appears to be four female characters. The first one here we have the classic anime girl, you know, not wearing armor that would really help her in battle. Um, you know, you can make an argument that that's D tier. It depends on your opinion of that kind of thing. Um, it's 2000 Japan. I mean, Japan, you know, certain Japan IPs still do that, but... Um, I think everything in her character kind of goes together, though. It's not just the lack of armor for the sake of that. She also has the mallet or axe. I can't really tell that um, goes with that. She has the the skirt behind her. That there's a there's a color scheme that goes with it. The white hair also goes with it. So I do think, despite her um, her clothing, I do think the character is well designed, at least from what I can tell in this one random look at this one random tier list. This character also looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put them in B tier. I, this looks like the rogue type character. Got a long dagger. Um, I do believe this is a female character. Um, doesn't really matter. Um, I think the design of the character is good. Um, I, I like the red and the white combination. I'd probably put her at the top of B tier. Um, I didn't really edit these other uh, rankings because I think they're good as is. This female character I also think looks fantastic. Again, why is she not wearing armor on her thighs? But that's how these things go. Um, maybe I complain too much about that. I don't know. What do you guys think? But her armor looks great. Her armor, in fact, looks better than this guy. Um, I just think the overall character of this guy looks better. 
I wish I could see her sword more, because my opinion might change if I could see her sword. The black hair really goes with gold and um, purple armor. So yeah, she looks great. And this girl also looks really good. She looks like a normal female protagonist or um, duratagonist of some kind. She looks like she is a main part of the story. I don't know, she could not be, but um, she looks like not only does she have an outfit that is that has a lot of detail on it, but it also looks um, practical, uh, which is different from some of the other ones. So, I don't think any of these characters are really D tier. Um, I'm judging, you know, I don't have much to go off of. You could maybe say these ones are D tier because of the the poor graphics on this, though honestly that's probably how all these guys look in game. And this guy, I just don't really like the design. It just kind of sticks out from the rest of these guys. So maybe we leave them in D tier. Um, maybe we don't even need a C tier for this one. Maybe that's what we go with. Um, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, if anything, in the comments section. Leave a like if you appreciate random tier lists. That's what this channel is all about. And speaking of which, there'll be another one up tomorrow at some point. Because I make a random tier list each and every day. And if you appreciate that, definitely subscribe. With all that said, guys, this has been the guy who makes random tier lists, signing off.